I mean, looking back, now I want to talk about, you know, when you get the awards you've gotten, I'm a lifetime yeah. achievement, and all of that. Was it tough growing up in a country that doesn't understand difference? She was tough. Yeah. It was tough, very tough. People touted me as in different ways, as in called me different names, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, because I, I think there was something about me. At the age of six, the moment I noticed that my younger brother was, has, you know, a little bit taller than you. Yeah, taller yeah. than me. I, I think that was when subconsciously hmm. I knew something was wrong with me. Hmm. Because I remember my mom taking me to the hospital, you know. Uh, I remember this one particular day, I think then something happened when I was like nine, nine years. I was like nine years, six months. Hmm. So they took me to the hospital. So the doctor was telling my mom, I think I was sick. So the doctor was telling my mom, Madam, stop worrying yourself. He has no problem. Just make sure he reads his book, he goes to school, just be there for him. Should you know someone that was born and brought up in the village? Mm. Uh, you know, that English, that it just hit me, bam. I remember the man saying, Madam, what he has is stunted growth. Mm. Then he wrote one of the, this thing he gave us, um, one of the reports, he wrote again. I saw another word, growth retardation. Hmm. I was looking for the mean, looking for, uh, first of all, how to pronounce that word, retardation. My mom no go school now. So, so nobody to, ex yeah, you have to do the I work yourself. Looking, see, it's, he had already said, it said stunted. I looked at that S-T-U-N-T, I'm like, but there's no O. Hmm. Do you know, growing hmm. up, my father used to be a trader. He was selling books, you know. Yeah. And, so, reading, I read, I translate Igbo to English. English, yes. You first you think of it in Igbo. I first think of it in Igbo. So I was looking at that word, stunted. I looked at it, man, it's you, not O. Hmm. I see. Well, instead of stone. Stunted. Oh, I was really this. stunted, uh, yes. You understand? So, what am I trying to say? Yeah. That was when I started hearing these words, these two words, stunted and retarded mm -hmm. growth. Mm -hmm. Until they, I saw the way the man explained to my mom. Mm -hmm. So. That was here. It was my mindset. My mom would always tell me, see, you know you're small. You cannot go and start carrying cement. You cannot go and start carrying wood and say you want to be a furniture. Uh, that, 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 then they call them furniture now. Nah, um, carpenter. thank you. <laughs> so, so then, you know you cannot do this. Thing. So the best thing for you is to go and study, go and read your books. Otherwise, <laughs> If you want to go to abroad, read your books. So I knew the only weapon I had to conquer the world yeah. is just by going to school yeah. and paying more attention to my academics. So, to, so why they were throwing all those tantrums? Ah, I know. Well, well I, I cried. I cried several times. Yeah. I cried, you know. They would call me different names. To, it got bad, though. It, there were times I thought of ending it all. Yes. Wow. Yes. I never told my parents. Hmm. I'm sure they, uh, when they hear, when they see all this interview, they'll be like, what I cry? So, my word for you. You know that kind of thing? Yes. So as a so child, I, you wanted to take your own life. Yes, at the time, I felt like, what am I doing? Hmm. I mean, they, it was as if the society, you know, was not just fair to me. Yeah. Kids, you know, taunt me with that, as in, they don't care with reckless abandon. You know, they just talk to me anyhow. And sometimes even when I have misunderstanding with my siblings, mm. they use the same name that they fight, they try to fight other kids off, you know, from calling me. They call me the same name. So it was hard on me, but they never knew. Mm. Several times, I was like, how would it feel? And, uh, you know, I... I, it started coming to my mind. Mm, mm, but mm. whenever, you know, those nonsense, negativity, negative thoughts start coming, I would tell myself, remember what, you, what my mommy said? Mama said, I can, I'll, I'll be a big man mm. only if I study. Why not study? Then until when these books fail me, then I will know whether I want to kill myself, you know, an uh, uh, entirety, or I uh, want to leave. Mm -hmm. I think that was so. That was what comforted me. Yeah, yeah. 
it was a touch between me and, and myself. Yourself. You and yourself, yes. Yeah, yeah. And I'm happy that you helped me. Yeah. So I know go, ah. I, I, thank well, God I know girl for the Don't me love me, it's no foul. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people talk about Akinokwa a lot. Correct me if I'm wrong. Before Akinokwa, there mm. was Okunoka. No, I I came first. Oh, right. And yeah. then... Okunoka, Okunoka, you know, and there yes. were so many other movies yes, in yes, that yes. direction. Akinoka is iconic, yeah, but, yeah. you know, there was Okunoka I thought was... <laughs> yeah, ah, that Okunoka. <laughs> At the start, did you know that Akinoka was going to be... Yes. You knew? From the set. Why? Oh, everybody was just laughing. You know, I think uh, that was the first time we were having something like that in, in, in Hollywood. Industry. Yes. So... It was like, you know, picking these two different human beings from mm -hmm. these two different worlds, you know, um, bringing them together. In fact, from when we were rehearsing, mm. people were like, ah, nah, have you seen these two guys? Have you seen these two guys? You know, so, yeah, so you before knew. we finish, ah, no, we knew. Yeah. Before we finish, ah, uh, people, in fact, the expectations were high. We yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, Sita, that's what I tell people. From the first day I met Sita, there was this chemistry. Right. It was just there. Mm. Mm. Because, oh, see, my guy, you know, then if you come to him, you know, if you look, see him from afar, you think that he's this shy type of a guy. But when you come closer, he is not. Yeah. So I noticed that, in, but he, he, you know, he's, he's more or less an introvert. So mm -hmm. he, he likes to be on his own. Mm. Like. So I remember, you know, trying to devour him, you know, <laughs> yeah, because I was then a, an undergraduate. So yeah. we met that day, even while we were discussing, you know, people, if you see even the way people were looking at us. <laughs> today, you remember that part of uh, Macbeth? Yeah. Where, I think it was uh, Macduff that said, what are these, when he saw the three witches, he said, what are these so withered and so wild in the attire that look not like the inhabitants of this earth and yet are on it? Yeah. Exactly what <laughs> transpired mean. that day. Mm. You know, it was more, it, me, I, of course, I didn't that time, so, uh, I was everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but before then, should there something happen? Mm -hmm. Because I have an uncle. Okay. Like my mother's family, most of them live in Abba. Right. So I had this uncle that I always, you know, visit my mother's elder brother. I always visit him in Abba. Mm -hmm. I noticed something. Whenever I go to the market mm -hmm. to buy clothes, I would meet one woman that would ask me, eh, hey, you were here yesterday. You, remember you said I should keep this clothes for you. She, did, she will give me the clothes. When Osita will come again, she will tell Osita, you came and collected the clothes now. Do you understand? Right. So, so she it was, was happening. I didn't even know. No, yeah. You had not yeah. met him at that time. At all. And even while I was in school, people had already started telling me, she did, was so someone that looked like you. Hey, this wow. guy looked as like I said, hey, this person. So that day, when, you when I saw him, I was like, yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> it's not you that know. it was destined to be. Yes, yes. So the chemistry from that first day, yeah. Ah, everything was just perfect. Yeah. My brother, if me and Osita now, if we are on set, if we're taking a line, maybe he misses the line, I will chip in without anybody knowing, except if you're looking at the script. If I miss a line, uh -huh. he will correct me. Yeah. And if you're not looking at the lines, mm -hmm. you know where to work, you will think um, it was planned, it it was was planned or yes. it was just scripted like yeah. that. So from day one, mm -hmm. that was even why. You know, when people saw that, people were like, man, this movie, ah, if this yeah. movie come out to, ah, ah, you understand? And yeah. they, that was it.